Hi everyone, I was very excited today to learn that you can add audio notes to Google Jamboard. So it's a great tool if you want to add uh, some audio cues or instructions to a Jamboard. Great for supporting Universal Design for Learning. And to do this, you just need the Moat extension and uh, make sure you're signed in. So I'll show you how that can be done. So here I just have a pretty straightforward Jamboard, not much on it, but if this was uh, something with a little bit more relevant content, I can just click up here on my uh, Moat icon in my extensions. And I'm gonna use this option here where I can record with Moatpad. So when I click on that, it instantly starts uh, recording. I could record some verbal uh, instructions uh, for uh, for this assignment on Jamboard. And when I'm done, I can just click done, and it creates a uh, moat here. So one thing you can do now is uh, assign this through Google Classroom. And so your students will be able to um, access the Jamboard and access the audio note that goes with it. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to click here where it says my activity and engagement. When I do that, I have access to all the modes I have created. And this is the one I just uh, recently created here. And now I see an option here to share to Google Classroom. So I'm going to click on that. And this will take me uh, to a page here where I can go and select which class I want to share to. And depending on uh, the Jamboard, what it is you want your students to do, uh, you can assign it through, uh, post it in a variety of ways. So I'm just going to create it as an assignment and I'll hit go. And once you do that, it takes you sort of to the main assignment creation page. So I can just put something um, in here. I could have some instructions. Uh, you see here's the moat uh, that I've created and the Jamboard will be attached to that. You then have your usual assignment options, such as if you want to assign it to the whole class or particular students, point values, all that stuff. And I'm just gonna put it in a topic here called today. And I'm gonna hit assign. And so what happens is uh, as the students uh, go into Google Classroom and access it, they'll go to the classwork they'll see um, a Jamboard assignment posted today. They can click on it and this is what they will see. They'll be able to open the Jamboard. Uh, and over on the right, you see I have this card here that lets me play the audio note that I recorded. So it's a great way to add those verbal instructions uh, uh, to support your students as they're working through Jamboard. Um, they can just close that and then they can go in and work with Jamboard. And you notice on the right here, that icon of mode is showing where they can click that and play it again if they had to. Now this is through Google Classroom and this is, is if the student has the moat extension. I just wanna show you how it looks if they are going through Google Classroom, but maybe they don't have the moat extension installed. So it does look a little bit different, uh, but they can still access the content. So here is what the, a student would see if they access that uh, and were not uh, signed into the extension. So they come to a new page. You notice the card is still there. They can play the audio cues and it says, I left this note on this web page. So and then you notice the link here is that Jamboard. So they would sort of listen to that and then click on the link to access the Jamboard. So just a little bit different. It can be accessed whether your students are signed in to Moat or not but it certainly is a great tool uh, for you to use and uh, create sticky moats with Google Jamboard.